What's up, everybody, and welcome back to BitLab Academy Daily Alpha Series, where we break things down from beginner to pro with very easily, easy to digest, easy to understand, little juicy nuggets of how you can capitalize the most efficient way on your crypto journey, whether it's trading, charting, investing, whatever it is. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is going over how you can master TradingView with some really quick tips, really quick keys on the chart so you're not going all over the place trying to figure out what to do and how to do it, how you can have your indicators all set up with templates, and we're gonna do it in about a 10 minute video, so you're not gonna wanna miss this. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Kelly Kellum, and again, welcome to BitLab Academy. Uh, thank you for being part of this community. Make sure that you like and subscribe, ting that bell, because we're gonna be bringing you so much great information, uh, basically for infinity now. So we got daily live streams every day at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the BitLab Academy YouTube. I also wanna encourage you to go check out bitlabacademy.com because we got some incredible courses, some gr a great community, indicators, so much stuff going on there, so check that out. So why don't we go ahead and jump on into these charts. Thank you all for showing up. Let's go ahead and look at this. So. What we're going to be doing is talking about trading view, how we can master this without having to come over here, figure out what we're doing, click on things and move the, I can't find, no, we're gonna master this like a boss. I have an, an extended video within the BitLab Academy YouTube called Chart Like a Pro, but in this video, this is very to the point, we're gonna just get down to it. On this chart, it doesn't matter what asset you pull up, I'm doing the, the, the dollar index, the DXY, it doesn't matter. It could be Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, Cosmos, uh, the Dow Jones. It doesn't matter. These quick keys work for you. So first thing I want you to do is I just want you to look at everything on your trading view before you start. See how it's laid out. Uh, very easy way. Before we get into the quick keys, I want you to notice I have, I have these, and you can set it up however you want. I have one, two... Uh, I have four, five, six, I have M, uh, all these different letters. It's the first letter of whatever template you're saving. But what my point is here is you have different indicator packages, whether it's a combination of uh, uh, stock uh, indicators that are built in here to TradingView or premium indicators like our BitLab trading suite where we have all this stuff. And I can bring it all up at once without having to come here and change things, all this. All you need to do is bring up whatever sort of setup you want, have all the, you know, say three, four indicators. And then once you do that, come right here with these four squares and you're gonna click on that and you're gonna save your template. Once you save it, the first letter of whatever that save is, is going to be what these, uh, these little circles are here. But in order to get these up here, you need to put a star on the right side of it. Just click on that, that, that little square, these four squares, and put a star, and each one you star will be up here. Same thing goes with time. If yours just says D here or M or whatever, uh, if you only have one thing here, you can come here, you can click on that D or whatever, uh, and then s select this down arrow, and uh, see all these little stars? Stars are everything in TradingView. Every one that you star basically favorites it and puts it up very easily accessible here at the top. So for me, I can go from my macro, my midterm, and my micro, Micro because what did I say in every stream if you haven't seen it so far you need to understand this market cycle all three cycles at least a macro a midterm and a micro meaning you're looking at the larger picture you're looking at the smaller picture and you're looking at what's going on on this uh, smaller time frame so you understand the full context of what's going on in the market so I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, all the indicators here now I want you to see here on the left as well and I'm going to be getting to these quick keys very soon so stick around uh, over here on the left we have all these different options and sometimes what I have here might be different than yours but you can see there's this small little arrow on the right side of each one of these that gives you other options and you can come here this trend line that might be arrow might be there's so many options here and each one that you star puts it onto a favorite bar and you can see if you come down here and press the favorites I have this bar I have mine on the bottom but it has all the stuff I regularly use so I can very quickly access it without having to go through here and find it. And to be honest, I don't even use this very often because I use the quick keys so much. Now we can also see uh, there's some other various things that you can set up here on your chart. We can also see that we have uh, this, this uh, my last price print right here as well as how long until this, this uh, candle closes. Uh, and there's a whole other lessons on, on exactly what candles are. We're just going to do trading view in this video. But if you right click on this bar, you can change this to logarithmic, non-logarithmic. You can go here, uh, symbol name level. See, now I can see it immediately on my chart. Uh, labels, I can go to symbol last price. That turns it on or off. 
to put it back on. Uh, now you see where it says line. Now I, I like having a price line so I can see where it's finding other points of uh, previous price action. Now, now we get to the fun stuff. Now we get to, now we get to the fun stuff, which is understanding how we can quickly and efficiently move through trading views so we can chart without being bogged down and losing interest or getting frustrated. We can go through some through any chart and just master the art of doing TA quickly. So we're not bogged down and frustrated with all this. I said that twice because that's how frustrating it is. So looking at this, what I want you to notice is if you come back over here to the left toolbar, we can see that uh, when you press this little arrow, uh, on these, we don't see any. So right here, uh, so right here, you see Fib Retracement. We have a little symbol here. If you have any trouble after I call out a lot of these, you can go back in here and you can see each one of these that has a quick key. Now I do want to point out on Mac, the quick keys will start with option. And on uh, PC, I believe it starts with alt. So anytime I say option, if you're on a PC, think, think alt. So what am I talking about? Well, rather than coming over here and coming back and forth trying to draw this, I can do very quick mapping on this by using quick keys. So in order, I can do a, a horizontal bar across the entire chart here by wherever I put my mouse by pressing option or alt H, horizontal bar. If I want to put a vertical bar, same thing, option V, okay? Delete those. Now, instead of having a bar all the way across, what I like to do for cleanliness, uh, keep, keeping my chart somewhat clean and easy to read, I like to do option J, which is actually, oh, uh, uh, accident there. I like to do option J because that is a horizontal ray from this point forward. What does that mean? Well, here's a horizontal bar. You see how this is all the way across? And the ray is only from this point over. I like this because it keeps my chart clean. So now when I'm trying to chart something very quickly so I can get a map of what's going on, and a lot of times I completely erase all my drawings on a chart and start from scratch. So this helps me do it quickly. So I go there, this is the top. Let's do another peak right here, option J. Uh, we've got uh, another sort of point of, it. you see this point right here and I have, cr I have the crosshair do dotted lines. So the reason I do this is so I can see without even putting a line that this is having confluence with this area here. What do I mean? Option J. Now you can see this found resistance. Similarly, this found resistance. Now we're kind of having a little bit of uh, price interaction around these levels. Now, how do we draw a trend line? Well, we do option T. So on PC, that would be Alt T. So option T, and we can do a trend line. And all you do is press option or Alt for PC, option T. And once you do that, then your next click on the screen will be your trend line now if you want to change any of these uh, colors i like to have a little bit of a color scale to figure out what points are resistance what points are support and you're going to have to figure out what that is for your strategy but you can double click on any of these lines and come in here to uh, style you can change uh, you know what colors they are what thickness they are if you want a dotted line dash line uh, if you want a super thick uh, you can customize all this how you want and define based on what sort of uh, resistance or or uh, support or trend line, you can you can customize what your look and feel is on this. So similarly, we can also do uh, what are uh, some of the other ones? We can also do option uh, the Fibonacci, which is also one of the most critical for technical analysis, effective technical analysis. I really like to use Fibonacci, which is option F. If you're trying to find a retrace when it comes from here to the bottom, how high is it going to bounce? You start at the top here, press Option F, click. Now you you just you don't have to continue holding. You just click, let off, and now you bring your mouse all the way down to where your low is, which in this case is right here. And we can see we have this map of Fibonacci's across the chart. Now you'll notice mine might be a little bit different than yours. I customize mine. Double click on your Fibonacci and you can turn on and off whatever you want on here. I like having the 382, the golden pocket, which is a 0.618 and the 0.65. Some people put the 0.66, but I like that this is my golden pocket. And then the 0.786 and the one. That's really all you need. And you can do some extensions if you want, a 1.618, 2.618. Etc. But for the basic Fibonacci sequences, the 382, 618, 65, and the 786 are the, the real key levels you want to look at. So we can do that again right here. We can do multiple different time frame, this more, this more midterm Fibonacci. And you can see right here, this price down here to the bottom. Look at this. Price pushed up, found issue, resistance, resistance right in this golden pocket. That's why Fibonacci's are so useful to use uh, in your trading. Now, you can also... 
do a uh, an inverse of that. Uh, for instance, let's go ahead and delete this golden pocket. We can uh, go ahead and do uh, option F here from the bottom and drag all the way up to the top here where this local top is. And we can see, this. obviously this wasn't a top at this point, but price already was finding uh, sort of support at these levels. But if this were to continue a rejection, I'd be looking for uh, a little bit of support here at the 382. And if that's lost, this uh, this is a very, very high hit rate with uh, golden retraces uh, on both the uh, uh, pulling back from an uptrend and bouncing up from a downtrend. The golden pocket is a, is a very, very uh, good uh, spot to look for price action on charts. And you can do it on these macro terms, this mid uh, midterm tr uh, trends, and also these smaller micro local trends to really figure out where you're mapping your price action. So some, those are some of the main quick keys. And I'm gonna go over them again just, just before we finish. Option J gives you a ray all the way to the right. Option H gives you a horizontal bar all the way across. Option V gives you a vertical bar if you're trying to measure times or map things out on a chart. Option F gives you the Fibonacci uh, up to down or same thing, option F or uh, yeah, down to up if you're trying to do retraces or uh, pullbacks. Um, and those are, those are some really easy ways to really master your trading view and getting your custom setup with across the top, your various different indicator setups, whether it be the BitLab uh, trading stack with all the indicators we have, uh, you know, and also even within our own indicators, I have four different templates here with different settings, more aggressive, more, uh, more conservative. Uh, so it, it makes it easier to understand what's going on. And then of course you can do your traditional indicators, MACD, RSI, stochastics, whatever it is. The whole point here is that you have the ability to customize and set up your trading view to be the most effective with your strategy and you, you can use these quick keys option j option h option f option t for trend lines uh, option v for verticals experiment with all these and if you get lost whatsoever on any of this you can always come over here to the top left and come down to uh, keyboard shortcuts boom and you can do chart and you get all kind of information right there that's your hack for the day. That's your alpha nugget. That's on this alpha series, how you can master trading view and do it like a pro. Uh, I really appreciate you all. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. My name's Kelly Kellum. I love building this community with y'all and sharing our experience with you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Adios, muchachos.